We're made up of um, primarily uh, second homes and um, the businesses that support those kinds of second homes. We have a small uh, permanent resident population of about a thousand. We're from Massachusetts. We don't have any snow. And uh, here they have the snow, so we come here. It's either here or Europe. Mm -hmm. So you come here mainly for the skiing? Only for the skiing. Yeah. The property taxes are the whole reason everybody wants to do it. And that's, I mean, I guess they're, they're completely out of control. You know, they we read somewhere they've gone up 400% in six years, something like that, and that's it's outrageous. It's just time to get out of here. There's not really much opportunity. The, the whole property tax thing is part of wanting to move. I mean, buying, yeah, buying a home is, is unrealistic. It's just time to move on now. It's because these second homeowners come and buying million dollar homes. My personal tax has gone up um, about 400% in the last few years, so um, I'm upset like many other people in this area. And the people that own these second homes don't want to pay taxes that go to schooling and stuff because their children don't go to it. Consequently, it has put people with children against people um, without children in the town. I mean, there's a lot of conflict. If you don't have children, obviously you want the school budget to go away. I mean, it does affect people like us because we're renting and it makes our rent go up. Because I live six months here and six months in Massachusetts, I'm actually thinking of taking a residency here so I can vote on these issues. If us joining New Hampshire is a way to control it, then Hunter. And what I don't understand is that, I mean, if we did secede whatever to New Hampshire, they could raise the taxes and it could be the exact same, or it could be worse. So, taking off. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I don't think it's going to happen, do you? I don't know what would be, uh, what are the pros and cons, but it seems to be just perfect right where it is, doesn't it? Killing's been seceding to the New Yeah. No kidding. Have you heard of that? No. Oh, really? Where are you guys from? Uh, I'm, I'm from New Hampshire. I'm a student in New York. Oh, okay. So I haven't gotten a New Hampshire paper in a while. Uh, what's the deal? I think it's ridiculous, personally. Good? Uh-huh. Good. Great. I don't see... How is secession going to help the problem? You should fix the problem instead of leaving it. Yeah, but they're trying to make a point. The legislature seems hell bent on ignoring it and uh, and just running right over us. The legislature seems to be very adept at sliding around issues and just making little band-aid fixes to get them through the next election. After all, if the government is doing it to everybody, then it's got to be fair. After having gone seven years through the political and the legislative and judicial process and not having been successful at any of those venues, that by making the attempt, it was, it was worth it to let the people in Vermont know and the people outside Vermont that we really feel we've been dealt with unjustly, unfairly, and that we have no alternative. It's just getting more people well aware of it. And I think the, the people in the legislature are, are starting to uh, look at it a different way. Too. The amount being spent on the schools in the town have gone, has been going down, and the taxes, as I said, have gone up four times. So um, obviously there's no control now on what you can spend and the effect thereof. I know a few families have moved to this town because of the, the education. And it's like that, you go to any other state around, it's the same thing. The education is, is superior. Um, and it's superior because we've been fortunate with our tax base of being able to support um, a, a very good school. Each school that exists has to have certain items um, at their disposal, such as uh, librarian, nurse, uh, certain programs, special ed, etc. And if each small school has to provide those services, it really does add to the uh, cost per pupil. And, and that brings up the point that there are some towns in the state of Vermont, and we don't deny it, that um, don't have as good a tax base and therefore do have um, problems with funding their, their schools. And, and paying for a high quality education. A town like this that brings in so much tourism and has this money, it's their obligation to fund education for the rest of the city. We see nothing wrong with that. 
what we see wrong is taking all of our money, not giving us enough back, and then forcing us to cut back our school and reduce the quality of our education. And that certainly flies in the face of what the Supreme Court said we should be doing. A lot of people are very emotional about that decision. Um, and when it came time to vote, what was really great about it was that we were able to vote and say what we wanted. You know what I'm saying? Something very American about getting up and saying what you really want to say and how you really feel. And that's really what it's all about, I think. You know, freedom, excuse me, freedom to speak and say what you feel and vote on these things. Something very American about that. I was very proud to be part of that moment. The um, response that we have gotten nationally has been phenomenal. We have gotten um, emails and letters from people all over the country. I think the more important question is how would Vermonters feel about it? I don't want to steal it from them and have them all mad at us. <laughs> I think it's a wonderful idea. I live in a town. I think it'd be fabulous. New Hampshire was a little guarded in their response. The governor has not said one way or the other at this stage and there are a number of legislators in New Hampshire that would be very happy to be our sponsor for the legislation needed to, uh, to get New Hampshire to agree to take us. That's probably the largest impediment to our quest. Uh, New Hampshire may very well say yes, but the state of Vermont, uh, just looking at it from their tax implications alone, one of the assistant attorney generals said all the people in Killington can go to New Hampshire if they want. They just have to leave their real estate here. Um, that didn't really uh, give us a very good feeling that they really care much about anything but our money. That didn't stop our forefathers from trying to secede from England. And uh, it's certainly not going to stop us from trying to secede. If anything else, it's going to, I think, um, give us the platform from which perhaps we can have some meaningful dialogue with the state and some meaningful change that will um, hopefully benefit all of us. You could say that. Yes. I don't believe it's going to happen. We shall see. So uh, where are you take it from here? We'll see what happens if New Hampshire says yes. Uh, if Vermont says no after New Hampshire says yes, there's potential we could go to uh, Congress and ask them to resolve the dispute. If, however, New Hampshire says thanks but no thanks, uh, then we really have no alternative. It's history in the making. How can you, you know, it's, it's, it's our form of government, the way we want to see it at work, um, alive and well, and, uh, and who doesn't want to sit down and, and watch that and see how it plays out?